basically, mm -hmm. you just sort of go through your you go. actual process. No, you go. <laughs> <laughs> you go too. No, no, no. You start. You start the problem from the MRI. Take it. <laughs> okay, so. It starts with the, with the, with the MRI. Uh, we basically go through the single images to decide which ones will render a better view of this tumor, because not all the slices are helpful. And also, we have to learn to identify tumors, because so many other things look like tumors and they're not. The, the big question was how to get from a flat image to a 3D rendering. Uh, and uh, that took some months. And then once, you know, once, we got, once we got the thing printed out as, as a tumor, we just had the basics, right? So we had a plastic printed tumor. And it, it was, for us it was an accomplishment, but this, this, it wasn't the end. It was just really the beginning of a process of, of producing art. You know, the literal taking of an MRI to the 3D print was long. It was really the main backbone of the whole project. But it was just, you know, once we got it, then it was just the beginning. The project really came about in 2008 when I was diagnosed myself with breast cancer and we went through the whole operations and conversations with radiologists and with the surgeons, but nobody talked about what this thing that was inside me looked like, what, it, what form it had, what size it was. It was just making all these decisions and it fe felt like this ominous, invisible, you know, monster that I, I really wanted to grasp. So as an artist, I wanted to see what was inside me. I was, I was so scared when I walked in there, but as soon as I saw my breast from inside, I mean, I was totally interested, enthralled by it. And as Abu said, I, found, I, I also found it beautiful, even with a the tumor there. Um, I think it's amazing that they do these th all these images sliced together, make a, can make a 3D view of the, of the, or the torso, you know. The radiologist herself, the one I was working with, is very passionate about her work. And she herself had to check on herself because she we were sitting there and she said, isn't it beautiful? And then she said, oh, that must sound weird, you know, and she, and, and I was said, no, it, it really is. I said, it, it is beautiful. One of the things we chose to do was to use, was to use bronze and to use uh, a very old technique of mold making and wax and poured bronze. Part of it was not fetishizing 3D printing. Part of it had to do with uh, the fact that we wanted uh, you know, this, this solid material also. Um, and I wanted also to make a jewel out of something horrific that was part of it and uh, kind of worked out because when I wear it or a friend wears it, um, it's always brings up something. Someone says, oh, that's beautiful, always. And, uh, and then I, sometimes if I'm in the mood, I say, well, it's a breast cancer tumor and they, they either they back out or they say, oh, wow, that reminded me I need to do my MAM or I need to do my MRI this year, I haven't done it. Or my aunt died of breast cancer. And then it, it just is a topic, it, it allows for conversation around breast cancer. And uh, I think that's important. So this jewel that's very beautiful uh, around one's neck is also um, a platform for, for uh, further research or conversation. It's more active than, you know, having a pink teddy bear. After the first year that we did it, these doctors came to look at it. A couple of them were, were sort of very taken by it, but one in particular started saying, you know, these tumors are saying something, they're saying something. And he went around the room looking at everyone front and back, and, and that thinking that he uh, had done turned into a research project at Wild Cornell where they're looking at sort of more 3D features of breast cancer tumor and trying to see whether that may predict something more precise about uh, its trajectory. So that was, you know, one of the most satisfying yeah, absolutely satisfying. parts of it. it. You know, it was as, as artists in a way, you know, that's uh, what we want to have a kind of a societal impact on some level and not just an aesthetic something on the wall, right? And, and um, 
and that, that, that for us was, was, was a big one.